Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in his glorious book, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ فَاتَّخِذُهُ عَدُوًا إِنَّمَا يَدُ حِزْبَهُ لِيَكُونُ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ Verily, the shaytan is an enemy to you. So treat him as an enemy. Don't treat him as a yar, as a friend, as a companion, as a buddy to lime and dine with. Treat him as an enemy. The only thing that interests him is that you burn in the fire of hell. You didn't get it the first time. Maybe you thought Allah wasn't addressing you. So this time round, Allah calls you by name. So there is no misunderstanding. And Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. Or those of you who believe, that's people like yourself and myself. لا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان. Do not follow in the footsteps of the شيطان. إنه لكم عدو مبين. He's a clear and open enemy to you. إنما يأمركم بالسوء والفحشاء وأن تقولوا على الله ما لا تعلمون. He commands you to commit evil and sin, and that you say against Allah that which you do not know. O Muslimان. وَمَنْ يَتَّخِذِ الشَّيْطَانَ وَلِيًّا مِّن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَكَدْ خَسِرَ خُسْرَانًا مُّبِينًا You're going to take the shaytan as your friend instead of Allah? Then you're going to make a loss. You're going to make a loss in the dunya and you're going to make a loss in the akhirah. O Muslimان وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّهُ سَمِيُّنْ عَلِيمٌ if a whisper comes to you from the shaitan, seek refuge with Allah. Seek refuge with Allah. Make this dua. Rabbi a'udhu bika min hamazati shayateen. Wa'udhu bika rabbi an yahdurun. O Allah, I seek refuge with you from the whispers of the shaitan. And O Allah, I seek refuge with you. Lest the shayateen come close to me. Let the shayateen come near me. My young friends, time after time, the Quran, in the Quran warns you and I, beware of the shaitan. Do not befriend the shaitan. The shaitan is an open enemy. If you befriend him, you're going to make a loss in the dunya as well as the akhirah. Time after time, the Quran encourages People like yourself and myself that take protection from the shaitan with Allah. Make this dua. O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the whispers of the shaitan. And I seek refuge with you lest the shayateen come near me. That is because he's man's greatest and oldest enemy. The day you were born, the shaitan was there. And the day you leave this world, you will see the shaitan there trying is almost best to lead you astray trying is almost best to take advantage of when you are at your weakest when you're suffering from the pains of death and on the verge of leaving this world shaitan will try his utmost best so that you die on cover so that you burn in hell forever and ever why do you think every child that comes in this world he cries every child that came into this world other than a selected few came crying and the reason they came crying was because shaitan was there he introduced himself to you he showed you how much he hates you as a result he pokes you he harms you he injures you as a result of which when you come into this world you come crying he was there when you were born and he will be there when you leave this world my young friends the great imam ahmad ibn hanbal rahimahullah sahib musnad who knew several hundred 
thousand ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam off by heart, sanadan wa matanan, chain of narration along with the text. He's on his deathbed. His son is there witnessing this. He says, every time my father, he would, he would fall unconscious, then he would gain consciousness. And every time he would come round, he would make ishara with his fingers, he would indicate with his fingers. No, 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 not yet. His son sitting there and he's addressing his father. He, Abba John, are you seeing something that we can't see? Who are you addressing? Who are you speaking to? We can't see anyone here. And the great Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal rahimahullah says to his son, Oh my beloved son, the shaitan is here and now in this gathering. And he's biting his fingers. And he's saying to me, Oh Ahmed, you have escaped me. Oh Ahmed, you have escaped me. And I'm saying to the shaitan, No, I haven't escaped you. Not till my soul leaves my body. Till my soul doesn't leave my body. I haven't escaped you. This was Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullah. Such was the caliber of this individual that he knew several hundred ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam off by heart. And he spent his entire life serving the deen of Allah and teaching the hadith of Rasulullah. He is the same scholar that says, there's not a single hadith in my musnad in which I haven't acted upon to the extent I was informed that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was treated by the means of cupping and he gave the cupper one dinar as his wage. When I came across this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to follow in the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I was also treated by the means of cupping and I gave the cupper one dinar. This was the quality of this individual who's saying that the shaitan is standing in front of me, biting his fingers and saying, Oh Ahmed, you've escaped me. Oh Ahmed, you've escaped me. My young friends, shaitan and his army, whether it's Khinzab, whether it's Walahan, whether it's Dasim, whether it's Zalaynur, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They are working, looking for any and every opportunity to lead you astray so that you become an inhabitant of the fire of hell and that you burn forever and ever. I ask you, my young friend, what did shaitan say to Allah with regards to yourself and myself? Let me remind you. The shaitan said to Allah, O oh Allah, لَأَقْقُدَنَّ لَهُمْ سِرَاتَكَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ O oh Allah, I will sit in wait against them on your straight path. ثُمَّ لَآتِيَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ وَعَنْ أَيْمَانِهِمْ وَأَنْ شِمَائِلِهِمْ O oh Allah, then I will come to them from in front of them. I will come to them from behind them. O oh Allah, I will come to them from the right of them to the left of them. O oh Allah, I will come to your servants. However, I can get them. He said, O oh Allah, I will lead them astray. I will arouse false desires in them. O oh Allah, I will adorn the path of error. I will beautify sin, gambling, fornicating, taking dope, selling dope. O oh Allah, so they commit sin. And I will lead every single one of them astray.